Hi, my name is Cheryl Spangler. Welcome to the Good Side of Crypto. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a new wallet in town and it's called NuFi. And it is a multi-chain crypto non-custodial wallet, meaning you hold the keys. And we're going to walk through exactly how to use it, download, store crypto, what crypto is stored on, what the future is for this wallet right now. Let's do it. So here we are on their website. It's nu.com. FI. You're probably used to other wallets like dot finance. It's new dot fi. Anyway, before we launch into the wallet, we should first talk about the fact that it's not just a team of people who decided to get together into one off. Its parent company is Vacuum Labs. And if you're not familiar with Vacuum Labs, they have their hands in a lot of things. But most importantly, what you would know is they're the ones that helped develop the Yuri wallet that backed the integration of Cardano using hardware wallets like I use, which is the Ledger Nano X. They also use the Trezor, the creation of the Ada Lite wallet. So why do I care? And why should you care about this wallet? Basically, I was looking for something where I don't have to download 15 different wallets to hold every single cryptocurrency I have. So what they are is a multi-chain wallet that holds proof of stake blockchain cryptocurrencies. It is really nice, which is why they say wealth management platform. In this first quarter of 2022, they're incorporating what I think is one of the most important things for a wallet, which is in-app crypto purchase from a card and bank. And if a lot of times it's like so frustrating and you spend a lot of time in fees, gas fees, transaction fees, just switching, converting, swapping, if you could just purchase directly from a card, it would make it a lot easier. It is a wallet. It is. It gives you the ability to stake your cryptocurrency. It integrates NFTs. It integrates the hardware wallets, more products, more protocols coming soon. They're going to support Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Algorand, Cosmos, Casper, if you haven't heard of that, and Mina which is considered the lightest blockchain actually, Terra Luna. So all of these proof of stake coming in the future right now, Solana, Cardano, Flow, Near, they have an amazing, amazing support. And I think that is something that a lot of projects struggle with. They launch these projects and they don't have all the questions and the support system. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click launch app. So let's go ahead and create a new wallet right now. Click on create wallet. Either yes, I have a hardware wallet or no, I don't have a hardware wallet. Today, we're just going to say no, I don't. So we're gonna go ahead and call this my final wallet. <laughs> <laughs> because hopefully I won't have to make thousand more. Press continue, give it a password. First, it gives you 15 words that you need to write down. Then you need to repeat them back in order to clarify that you understand what they are. So let's go to wallet. So on the left-hand side, basically you have a portfolio of what you own. You've got Solana and Cardano and in accounts, it just basically shows like your account value, your available balance, and like whether you're staked, which I'm not yet. I haven't transferred yet. And exchange is coming soon, which is pretty cool. Okay, so if you go down on the left-hand side to staking, they are really, really into telling you exactly what everything means, which I really like. Uh, let's go back up and look to the left. And I love they have an NFT gallery. This is Cardano Decentralized Exchange available now on Testnet and coming soon on Mainnet. So I'm gonna send some ADA tokens into this wallet. So I would come over here. So first I'm clicked on the top left portfolio. I would come over here to receive. So you can basically send, receive, or exchange with another crypto, which is coming soon. So I am going to receive. So I'm gonna click on receive and I'm going to copy to clipboard the receiving address and I'm gonna send from my NAMI wallet. So I'm gonna go up here to extensions and click on NAMI. And I'm gonna send 20 ADA into this wallet because I always like to do a very small test, right? You should always do a small test. So we're gonna say send. And it says, where do you wanna send it to? And I have copied. So I'm gonna control V, which is paste. And I'm gonna say, I wanna send here and I wanna send 20 ADA. Now it's gonna cost me probably maybe one ADA. I'm not sure, let's see. Okay, it's 0.168 ADA fee. 
um, enter my password, transaction submitted. Okay, it's been about mm, a little over three minutes and you can see that the ADA tokens came out of my NAMI wallet and have come into the portfolio over here on the left. If you click on portfolio, you can see they came in with 20 ADA. Let's go to staking. I'll stake these 20. And um, once I click on staking on the left, I'm gonna go over here and click on my staking. And so I've got 20 ADA to stake, and then I'm just gonna click on start staking and I'm gonna press stake. And if you know the name of the pool, a 3.91% annual percentage yield return. I'm gonna go ahead and stake with the new FI ADA Lite B pool. It's got a higher percent refundable staking deposit fee of two ADA. Your whole account balance is staked automatically. ADA added to this account in the future is staked automatically. Stake data is not locked and you can transfer at any time. So we'll go ahead and put in the password, a submit. It took about four minutes for that to finish fully staking. So again, on this one, don't freak out if it doesn't happen right away. So you can view it on Explorer, view in app, the delegating fee 2.17 ADA, but you get the two back when you unstake. So you can see that it now lists under the annual percentage yield return 3.91%, yay. And the available balance, which you can unstake at any time. Now, if you click here to my staking, if you click these three dots, you can say change validator or withdraw rewards. But if you click change validator, which and here you just choose a new pool and say continue and it would it would like re-delegate all of your ADA. So here I have my NFTs in my NAMI wallet. And and if you're not sure if you're not aware, over here is currency, right here is is NFTs. Go to Cardano, say receive, copy to clipboard, and add the address of the wallet open up the wallet where you currently have your Cardano NFTs. In my case, it is NAMI. Click on the NFT I wanna to send to the new wallet. Click send, put the wallet address, I'm putting the password of the NAMI where I'm sending from, transaction submitted, and we should see it appear in our NuFi wallet. So it took about three to four minutes, shows up perfectly. So all your NFTs will show up here perfectly into their NFT gallery. And that is super exciting. This is probably the best visual representation of the NFTs and the way that the wallet is laid out that I have seen so far from the Cardano wallets. Thanks for watching this tutorial and drop a comment if there's anything you're still confused about. Try to get the team in here to answer. All the links are in the description to their social media and website. Try the wallet out. See what you think. The sun is shining. I knew it would. The world's a playground. I'm in the clouds. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out.